Olympian Gabby Douglas made history when she became the first African-American gymnast to win the all-around gold. It wasn't easy to catch up with her because Gabby Douglas never stops moving. Hey guys, welcome to my bus that I've been living on the past three months. I'll show you around. Come on. This is it. The purpose of this bus is we go to 40 different cities and perform all around the country. This is where I sleep. This is my computer. My background is the Fierce Five because I love them so much. They're like my sisters. We're all on tour. Me, Michaela, Allie, Jordan, and Kyla's not here. She went back to school and back to training. This is where we like to eat, just hang out and chill. And this is Allie's favorite spot. She loves to just hang out right here. My spot is right here. I just love to just pop myself up and just sit on the counter. And this is our food, just Vitamins, nuts, and emergency to help keep away from the colds. Flowers that people give us, and I got my purse, all I need in here. And sometimes I watch TV. This is the newspaper from the Washington Post that we all visit the president. It was really cool. I thought that would be a cool thing to show you guys. It was really fun going to the White House. Meeting the president, he was just so funny. I just remember we walk in and we all stood like this, like so proper. He's just like, guys, relax, calm down. You don't have to stand in a straight line. We even had a cookie in the White House, which is so good. And I found a quarter on the floor in the White House. It was pretty awesome. Please welcome Miss Gabby Douglas. Us being on tour, we definitely feel like rock stars. People coming up to us, asking for autographs and pictures. The tour is mainly about dancing, having a lot of energy, having fun. It's like a celebration from the Olympics. It was just so thrilling at the Olympics. I always dreamed about being on top of the podium, but it's not an easy life. It is very tough. The sacrifices, the injuries, you have to go through the struggles. My mom has definitely been there with me through everything, thick and thin. She's always been right by my side. Gabby's mother, Natalie, made that tough decision to let her move 1,200 miles away to train with one of the nation's top coaches. To have her go live with the host family, that took a lot for me. But she had a love and a passion for this sport. I wouldn't be a good mom if I didn't help her pursue her dreams. She's only 16, but Gabby Douglas has already written a memoir about her journey to the gold. If I could just pass along the message saying, everyone that wants to accomplish their dream or follow their dream, I would just say, don't ever stop. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you can't because you really can. Thank you for joining us and for welcoming us into your home. I'm Lara Logan. I'm Charlie Rose, and in keeping with tradition, there's really only one way to say goodbye on person to person. Good night and good luck.